this time I'm gonna show you a game that I have made it's a deck building game based on the uh, alien encounter deck building games but this is a bit it's a bit changed it has some new stuff so I'm just gonna show you how to set up the game and how to start and then in the next video I'm gonna do a short play too so anyone who subscribed to this mod can easily play the game without any problems alright so first of all uh, we have here two bags of tokens we have player boards we have the main board and we have a bunch of these decks we're gonna use the first thing you need to do uh, is to choose your marine so each of these marines has some different uh, special ability this is your kill card and it also represents your marine now it's not like in the alien legendary where you actually have a card avatar card that has a uh, health and points and so on your health points are actually on the board you can see them down on the bottom you have nine health points each time you take some damage you're gonna lower the you're gonna move this you know token on the track to follow how many hit points you have left when you get to the skull you're dead but you basically are not out of the game unless you are playing like four player games because when you die you can always choose to next turn take another marine and continue otherwise if you play a four player game it's elimination when you die it's end of the game for you also on this board you, every player will start with four ammo tokens and three adrenaline tokens this is something new I added to the game and uh, as you can see each player has inventory and he can carry three items in it alright so let's set up the game first of all we're gonna choose a marine so let's say I want to do use a uh, blue marine so as you can see his special ability is each time he can draw two more cards so you pick up the marine you pick up these basic decks here of, you have 11 cards and in, inside you're gonna have these basic skills recruitment skills uh, you can actually see on the card it's uh, a little text uh, starter so you know it, these are the starting decks same as the on the marine card so starting cards are pretty you know basic stuff although this one as you can see it says pay one adrenaline and then this card can have plus one supply on the bottom left corner this is the supply points you use supply points to buy other cards just like in alien legendary so inside this deck we have these basic trainings and then we have our main weapon pistol it's the range weapon also as you can see on the bottom left corner this is how much damage it can do only one damage so that's, that's like basic stuff so you're gonna pick up your deck take all the cards shuffle it and place it on the board here the mine deck here so you're gonna shuffle this deck and that's basically you're ready to go but we need to prepare other decks that we have to use uh, in the game so let's go to the main board and prepare our decks let me just quickly explain what we have here so first this is the new stuff we have locations here's the one location this is the location that uh, you're gonna always use if you're starting the location your entrance into the mass base it is a complex USC it has some special ability as you can see down there on the card and have some icons like this little fire icon this actually represents the spawn points and these command icons you see like a rank with the star and we have five of them so this is the new stuff that I added into the game basically just like in the, the you you're gonna go through the levels you're gonna uh, get these command points each time you get um, uh, in this case five or more command points you can opt to travel to the level and you're gonna go to the next level and so on and so on 
So this is your starting location and if you are playing easy game you're gonna add one more location and this one the end uh, this last location uh, yeah, you can actually see on the card this ending location is always the last location you have to place in the location deck so for instance if I'm playing the easy game I'm gonna take any other location shuffle them this goes on the bottom one on top and that's your easy game if you're gonna play medium game well then in that case you're gonna shuffle play two of these locations okay but let's say we are preparing an easy game so as you know on the bottom i have my health fortress and this is something i know always random you never know what location gonna have here in the middle so you know the first one you know the last one but you don't know what you don't know what's in the middle now Whenever you're playing easy game, we have here a deck of cards called Mission. So this is something like me I added. So these missions have tiers. They go from tier 1 to tier 4. And going from tier 1 to tier 4, they get in, you know, harder to do. Like tier 1 missions, I can show you some of them. As you can see, uh, to finish this mission you just have to discard two we weapon cards from your hand and you get two command points right in the center of the card you can see those command points and then you have your reward next turn you can draw one more card and then you have an optional thing when you're playing with other players like because this is cooperative you can spend one ammo token and the next player can draw two cards so this optional thing you can like you know do it or not your, your decision but usually you want to do it, do it to help your comrades, uh, you know, to fight uh, enemies. All right, so we have five, uh, five tier one, six tier two, six tier three, and three tier four. As I said, as you progress, this mission is getting harder. So for the easy game, you use old missions, and you're gonna place them here. Uh, from every deck you're going to place uh, two missions so starting from tier 1 I'm going to place two cards if, if I'm playing an easy game if I'm playing the medium game I'm also going to use all tiers but if I'm playing the hard game well in that case we, you're going actually from tier 2 you know, you're know, you not going to use tier 1 so no easy missions so setting up the easy game I'm going to shuffle all the okay, I'm going to shuffle all these cards and place two from the tier 1 you're gonna go face up here and uh, you can always during your turn if you can you can do the mission and then you take this card uh, it goes into your not into your inventory you can actually just place it close to your board so as you can see uh, location needs five command points these two missions give two command points so you will have to do these two and another one to be able to travel all right so we set up the locations we set up the missions the next thing you're going to shuffle these item cards here now these item cards going to stay face down the whole game and i can show you these items how they look like so every item in this deck costs four supply points you can see that in the bottom right corner this one is actually medical station which can only heal critical wounds i'm going to explain what the critical wounds later so we have lots of items here and some of them are artifacts some of them like uh, you know things you can use to help you out during the game so they stay face down you never know what you're gonna get you can always spend uh, four supplies to buy one when you buy one item it's gonna go in your item slot whenever you use the item you're gonna you know remove it from the slot and like if you have like three items you need to add one more well you have to discuss something to make it fit. okay that's shuffle the next thing you're gonna shuffle these wounds also uh so these wounds Oh, wow, I pull up the critical one. Let me show what kind of wound, wounds we have. We have regular wounds, you just deal your damage. Whenever you're gonna take some wounds, you're gonna pull up the card, in this case, for damage. Now, this, there, is not, there is not many of these 
large damage card but so I pull one right from the start also there are these critical wounds so besides doing damage to you you also gonna take this uh, card and place it close to your board because this one stays with you and you, you can actually see this turn you deal one more one less damage so it's kind of hindering you to the old game unless you know you manage to heal it with the card that I actually showed you before so yeah let's shuffle the wounds and that's it now what we need to do is prepare our spawn deck and our USC deck you can see here uh, three type of cards weapon cards ally cards and skill cards so this this card we all we're gonna shuffle them all together and this will be your USC deck it has 102 cards gonna place it here and after you shuffle we're gonna take it and place it here in the headquarters section five cards all right so these are the cards you can buy during the game you can see like in the bottom right corner it's the supply cost in the left corner is actually supplies this card is gonna provide you. now some people argued why is it red like like a damage but it, uh, it was confusing them but I had to distinguish these supplies that you had to pay and the supplies you're gonna get so the red red number supply is something you can use later for buying other cards the four number in the like in the yellow color that's that's the cost same like on this weapon right corner the cost left corner the damage you can do you, you can actually see the damage icon is like a splash while the supply icon is like a little crate and also this card provides dices i'm going to explain that during the playthrough all right so right now we have a weapon skill another weapon another skill and another weapon no any allies but as you buy cards you're going to replenish the hq headquarters so for instance if i buy the explorer i'm going to place the new card here and so on Every time I buy a, buy a card, it goes into my discard pile and I can use it later. You know how the deck builder works. Alright, after this, we need to prepare our spawn deck. Now, here are three stages of these spawn decks. Each of these decks have monsters inside. Okay, And the monsters are going from lower level to higher level. So stage one is lower monsters, you know, something you, you can easily dispatch. Stage 2, you know, medium monsters, a bit tougher to do, and stage 3 all actually have some boss monsters and really tough monsters inside. So you, you don't want to mix all of this uh, together like in one deck, like I did with USC deck, because you're going to mess up your game. It, it's not going to go like, you know, from easier to hard, it's just going to be completely messed up. But before you make these spawn decks, here are one of these, uh, I call them reinforcement cards. These are like special cards that can help you out during the game. They don't have a cost and whenever you pull them out, they're actually going to be pulled out on the board. You can recruit them not paying anything unless they are, you know, actually have a cost that you need to pay. Well, right now, let's Okay, like this one. You actually have a, to spend two supplies to take it. So these cards, event cards, I'm gonna shuffle it. Right. You shuffle it, and then you're gonna place in each of these stage deck one card plus number of players. So in my case, because I'm gonna play a single player game, I'm gonna play alone. So it's just me plus one. Okay. If there was a two players, they, it would be two cards plus one. Okay. So, I'm going to place two cards here, two cards here, and two cards here. Then you shuffle each deck separately, and then stage three going on the bottom, stage two on top of it, and stage one on top of everything, and you don't shuffle it anymore, that's it. 
your spawn deck is prepared. It has 66 cards inside. <laughs> Alright, so that's the game. Like, that's the setup. Now, before you start your turn, you're gonna pull one of these cards and place it in the spawn zone. And then you're gonna take uh, gonna take six cards in your hand. Okay, I actually have to sit here. Okay, I'm gonna pull six cards into my hand, and you're gonna start playing. Now, before I do a playthrough, let me explain some more stuff. Let me just remove this hand of cards. Alright, so as you can see this board is a bit, uh, well it's very different than the regular Alien Legendary board. It has uh, two zones here. It has a spawn zone, danger zone, it has also combat zone, and it has a little boss zone. Now, inside this spawn deck there, are, there is a boss card, you know, like um, that uh, spider guy, you know, it's called Spider Mastermind, or I, I forgot right now how the Cyber Demon, yeah, you know those guys from the Doom. So, whenever you pull them out, ins instead of placing them in these zones, you can actually place them here because they are bosses and they are connected to the location. But I'm gonna explain that during later. So the spawn zone, whenever you put the cards in the spawn zone, it goes face down. Okay? You, you you don't you can't see what it is. It's like spawn zone is like far away. It's not close enough to you, so you can't get harmed from the enemies from the spawn zone. They can't attack you from there. Unless actually they have ability to do so. But most of the monsters don't have that ability. So as the game progress you know, like in like in Alien Legend, that every time you add a new card, it's gonna push this card to the left until it gets to the danger zone. Now, when the card gets into the danger zone, you can actually see here it says reveal. You're gonna flip it up, and now it's, it's the problem because monsters in this game can act, attack you from the danger zone, but only if they have a range attack. And this one has it. As you can see, Zombie Soldier has a range attack ability. Let's see what this is. Okay, so this is a demon. So this demon doesn't have a range attack ability, but has a fast ability. You can actually see what the fast means. This monster moves twice after reveal, and it doesn't push other cards. So let's say I reveal this monster here. Uh, how do you reveal cards? Well, there's a, there's a recon cost here. You can see it here. Recon 4. So I need to spend 4 uh, weapon uh, weapon damage cards to reveal this card. So if I reveal it here, it has a fast ability. It's gonna go twice forward. If I if I like uh, let's say this card then was unrevealed and entered the danger zone, it's gonna reveal immediately. It's gonna go two spaces forward. It's gonna go to the combat zone com immediately because it has a fast ability. Anyway, any monsters in the danger zone can attack you if they have a range attack. In this case, zombie soldier, if I don't kill him till the end of my uh, turn, he's gonna deal me damage. This, which means I pull one wound card and see how much damage I get. While these these monsters that doesn't have range attack, they can they have only melee attack, they can attack me. So I'm I'm safe from the demon, but I'm not safe from the zombie soldier. Anyway, when the monster gets on the combat zone, it doesn't matter if they have range or melee attack, you're always gonna get damage from the combat zone in the end of the turn. So you need to clear the combat zone. And that's it, basically. Uh, I explain what we have here. And uh, in the next video, I'm gonna do a playthrough. Now, this playthrough may be, you know, I, I might have to cut it into few videos because playing on easy and knowing myself I'm gonna build my deck before I continue and so on and so on or I can actually play maybe shorter game we'll see anyway now you know how the setup works so that's it that's how you set up the game and that's how you're ready to play I'm gonna actually let me take three cards 
shuffle them. So I don't know what, what they're gonna do like this. Okay, so I'm gonna save this and from here I'm gonna continue in the next video place. So thank you for watching. If you like my you know games I'm making if, if in the tabletop simulator, please subscribe to them, subscribe to my channel, you know, watch how it goes and so on. Anyway, goodbye.